Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Cousins. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get the exact local time in Unreal Engine. So, like, yeah, your computer's current time. So, right now, if I look at my phone, it's currently 1016. So, I just want that to display in Unreal Engine, right? We want to be able to get that time. You can use this for a few different things. Like, if you wanted something, an event to happen at a certain time, like, for example, uh, I don't know. At 10 o'clock, something um, like something disappears. You destroy an actor, right? You could do something like that, or you could say something is different in the morning as it is at night. Something is different at a different time of year because this will also get the month, day, and stuff like that. And then you could make a clock. Like if you wanted to make a clock with the exact time, you could do that. But I'm just going to be making like a digital-ish clock, I guess. It's just going to say, you know, the time as, uh, as it is on the screen in a widget, which will be pretty simple to do. So I'm just going to create a widget here, and I'll call this clock uh, like that. And then just open this up, and I'll add some text in to display the time, right? Um, I'll just put it at the top here. And I'll just size it and make the font a bit bigger. All right. And then I'll bind the text so that whatever is in this return value here will be what shows on screen. And we want it to show the time, so like hour, colon, minute, colon, second, right? So to do this, uh, you just, it's very simple actually to get the time in Unreal Engine. You just have to do now, search for now, see, right there. And then, uh, and yeah, see, basically, there's also this one, which I think, this is like universal time, I forget, it's like some time zone. But if you want it to be like the same for everyone, so you could use this. Um, so like, if you wanted... Uh, at 10 o'clock in some time zone something happens for everyone around the world you could use this one but I'm just gonna use local time for now so we'll do um, break date time and as you can see all of these are integers of different values right we got time we got minute hour day month year millisecond so these are the current times. so I'm just gonna do hour uh, hour colon minute colon second for this example so we're gonna append so we're just gonna be adding together a few different uh, values here right so first of all we'll just say time colon space and then we'll do um, hour and then colon minute colon Second, and you could do milliseconds or days or whatever you wanted here. But I'm just doing this for now, and then hook this return value up to here. Now I'm just gonna go into the level blueprint to make this uh, widget show when the game starts. So, event begin play. Uh, we'll do create widget, and we'll select this one. We'll add to view to be a part there we go now if we press play we get the current time is 10:20. if I look at my phone yeah 10:20. and I'll just wait 30 seconds here for it to get to 10:21. and I'll look on my phone it should be the exact same so this is just actually pulling your time from your current computer right it's current pulling the current time from your computer so uh, yeah it's pretty cool seconds here all right 1021 yeah my phone says 1021 as well so yeah that's pretty cool as you can see it's not perfect this isn't you might want to say if the last if the second value is less than 10 we'll add on a zero to the end of it or something like that but for this it's fine thanks for watching that's how you get the time in unreal engine you can make a good clock or whatever yeah. Bye-bye.